It all started with a cake, a velvety rich chocolate cake with a cookie crumb crust and a fine fudge wrap, frosting, wrapped in a seductive dark blue wrapping. The reaction that it drew, the pleasure that it gave, was enough to transform the life of Warren Brown. His passion for blending and creaming tastes, textures and recipes inspired him to trade in his life as a fast-paced, high-flying lawyer from Washington, D.C., and set up as a baker in a small corner shop in K Street. Nearly 8,000 kilometers away, and one ocean, before I wore a short shirt and tie to work, I wore a white lab coat. But before then, uh, my training and enjoying passion were for biochemistry, a, a field which is all too often associated with rigid models, equations, and test tubes. But reality is far from that. It's a passionate dance of the molecules, twisting and contorting in a never-ending flamenco of life. Amino acids and sugars line up and join together like a never-ending at atomic Mexican wave. These days, I've changed my role in life, but you never have to go far further for experimentation than the kitchen. The familiar antagonists of heating and dissolution, agitation and patience, blending and reducing their work their magic with today's new dramatis personae of herbs and spices to produce a performance that nature ensures will never be experienced in quite the same way again. And there is nowhere where this is more true than a, a humble Spanish villa home to the restaurant El Bulli. In an act of gastronomic theater like no other, guests are welcomed to this traditional Spanish villa with open arms entering alongside the vast open kitchen and presented with a dramatic tale of the surprises and delights that await them. The meal that starts with a cubic snowball filled with margarita foam before unleashing a symphony of exotic flavors and unexpected combinations. Parmesan marshmallows, melon caviar, peanut ice cream, and cliff mussels with seaweed all feature in a cabaret of taste sensations in which the daily quest for nutrition is shrouded by a banquet of the senses. Pure flavor, vivid tastes and textures with such subtlety that to dine is to be entranced. It's no wonder then that each year a million people contend for a mere 8,000 places. At the heart of El Bulli's success are three simple ideas, and the first is experimentation. The human mind is often quick to dismiss combinations that are counterintuitive, denying us the delights of bacon ice cream and potato liqueur. We seldom think of serving chocolate and goat's cheese, yet on the same plate, we are happy to blend the same base ingredients to form milk chocolate. We wouldn't instinctively serve beer laced with balsamic vinegar, yet it works. In a recent study, 80% of Americans turned their noses up, and yet after a blind taste test, just as many wanted to try it again. The second secret is savoring. At Albuli, the celebration of consumption lasts for several hours as 28 dishes are presented over three acts. The latest research in psychology demonstrates that taking time to appreciate the pleasant subtleties of life is one of the keys to improving our emotional well-being. The, this positive attention contributes more than wealth, status, or any other reward. Indeed, this sensation is only possible with our mouths because our eyes and ears are so bombarded with stimuli that we spend most of our lives learning to filter it out. The third secret lies in the layers of imagination that shape our experience. An epic poem that starts with the first sensation builds with the taste of the lips and climaxes with a complex balance of texture and flavor that transports you to another time and place. Some tastes may smell like home, others adventure, and some even convey the sweet smell, taste of success. But through all of this, I would like to leave you with a final thought. Our processes of exploring and appreciating food is indelibly linked with our processes of expressing and experiencing stories. Chapters of a book and, or acts in a play are acted out like courses in a meal. Characters and metaphors interact like flavors and textures. We say that envy is sour, defeat is bitter, and love is sweet. In our minds, taste is poetry, it, and life is to be enjoyed as if it were a rich chocolate cake with a cookie crumb crust and a fine fudge frosting. <laughs>